Hello everybody! Today our guest is an affordable 4-core model which does not feature any specific performance at nominal operation as compared to its competitors. Although the overclocking promotes it to be almost the best market offer within the price range of $250. After having tested the affordable processors Intel Core i3-6100 and 6300, the time has come to consider what Intel company can offer to a mass user within the upper price segment. Here, the most suitable options are the younger 4-core models Intel Core i5-6400 and 6500 with a locked multiplier. The first one has already managed to visit our lab and the second one is going to be the hero of our current review. We have got the boxed version of Intel Core i5-6500, so the supply set includes a coolant system, a user's manual and a sticker with the manufacturer's logo. The model belongs to Intel Skylake line and thus it has a complete mechanical and electrical compatibility with LGA1151 socket. The installed cooler includes a low-profile aluminum radiator and a fan of 7.2 watts. With relation to TDP level of 65 watts, such a coolant system should feature a sufficient operational performance. Also, $230 price is more likely to ensure more quiet and effective option based on a copper core radiator. The nominal speed of the 4-core model is 3200 MHz. The clock frequency can increase up to 3600 MHz after activation of Intel Tuba Boost 2.0 technology. Although meanwhile, some of the cores will be automatically switched off. In other words, you have to create a very specific load to achieve the challenge of 3600 MHz. Therefore, while considering i5-6500, you should obviously keep in mind that its frequency would not mostly go beyond 3300 MHz, which is clearly can be seen on the graph. The processor can implement two types of memory, DDR4 and DDR3L, and thus the guaranteed model supported frequency makes 2133 MHz and 1600 MHz accordingly. The maximum capacity is claimed at 64 GB. Like all the other representatives of Intel Skylake line, the tested model is equipped with an integrated graphics core. In this case, it is Intel HD Graphics 530 and it has 24 computing modules. Its nominal frequency makes 350 MHz and can reach up to 150 MHz in tuba mode, although it will again depend upon the load features. For example, during the stress test, the maximum recorded value was fixed at 1000 MHz. While using the bunch cooler Scythe Mugen 3, Intel Core i5-6500 heated up to 50 degrees maximum. Just for a comparison, with relation to the same mode, the temperatures of i5-6400 and i5-6600K did not exceed 40 degrees and 62 degrees accordingly. That is, the obtained value is quite acceptable and matches the overall features. We have used the following equipment for testing and comparing the processors. As a result, the gap between i5-6500 and i5-4460 made 5% on average as compared in terms of speed. The TDP level was significantly reduced from 84 to 65 watts. Thus, we can consider that 4-core processor microarchitecture change over from Intel Haswell to Intel Skylake proved to be quite successful, the TDP decreased and the performance had a slight increase. And if we compare the computing speed of the review hero to its nearest lineup neighbors, then it is ahead of i5-6400 by 4% on average and below Intel i5-6600K by 5%. And thus, supposing the tentative price of $230, then it's quite a decent option for a purchase. And AMD FX8370 is the direct competitor to the Review Hero, which showed the similar performance. The difference made 1% only in favor of i5. However, it should be noted that this is an average value. If considering the multi-threaded applications, then 8-core FX8370 has a fairly solid advantage, which occasionally reaches 40%. Also, 6500s features the faster performance in single-threaded programs and in games. In the latter case, the advantage makes about 10%. 
Due to the four full range cores, i5-6500 is much more capable to unleash the performance range of the integrated graphics Intel HD Graphics 530 as compared to the representative of Intel Core i3 series. For example, you will be quite comfortable by playing the world of tanks as well as by running undemanding shooters and simulators such as Borderlands 2 and Grid Autosport. Despite the minimum settings, it was no longer a slideshow but a fair gameplay. This model has a locked multiplier, so then the overclocking is to be implemented by adjusting the reference frequency. To achieve better results, it is recommended to use special BIOS versions, which you can find in the web. But please be careful, because after the installation some of the features will not function properly or will be not available at all. Thus, we had the problem of that kind when IVX instructions were blocked and heat sensor values failed to be recorded as well. We have managed to increase the processor speed up to 4642 MHz by enhancing the reference frequency to just over 145 MHz, which corresponds to a 45% raise relative to the nominal value. And this is a stunning result which owners of processors with a locked multiplier could ever think about. And it is worth to know that there is even no need to increase the supply voltage enormously. The gain of the real computing speed was also rather impressive and made almost 23%. Therefore, if you have bought Intel Core i5-6500, then you should definitely consider its better overclocking. It's really worth it. You might just say that we have just got a very good sample. At first we were likely to have the similar sorts. However, we had a look at one well-known overclocking resource, and we made sure that it tends to be a regular thing rather than an occasion. Moreover, some users managed to achieve even better performance. For example, an enthusiast from Vietnam was able to overclock the i5-6500 up to 5104 MHz and without using any extreme cooling systems. It's a pity that in relation to these results, Intel strongly resists promotion of such overclocking bias firmware. Let's hope this situation will change once. Processor Intel Core i5-6500, as well as its close neighbors in the model line, namely i5-6400, has a fairly good outfit of features which would be sufficient for assembling a high-scale computer. Surely it doesn't engage for its bright future or the competitors have some alternative options to offer, for example AMD FX8370. However, we would still prefer the i5, despite the best performance of FX8370 in multi-threaded applications and the lower price, the difference is about $20. The fact is that in games, namely this is the very point that users are anxious about, the representative of Intel Skylake line appeared to be faster by about 10% than FX8370. And the favorite argument of AMD fans that you can always catch up with the lag in performance by means of overclocking would no longer do, as i5-6500 has at least the same overclocking facilities. Sure, you will have to fag away just in the settings, but a 23% gain to the computing speed is the worth a reason. Moreover, you could obviously well do with a conventional Terra cooler due to the better power efficiency. While you will have to consider the top versions of cooling systems and accordingly to spend more money when overclocking the 125W FX8370. In general, AMD has to assume some urgent measures, otherwise it is likely to lose the leadership in the higher price segment in the near future, so now we are even more eager awaiting the AMD Zen platform release. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel, bye bye!